Hello, John. Stephen. Is he? Yes. Good. Look, I wanted to have a man-to-man -man chat with you about Gillian. You got the time? Of course. Look, we're both intelligent men. We both know Gillian's going to do whatever she wants, whether I want her to or not. You see what I'm getting at? I think so. I mistrusted you, John. Perhaps I was wrong. In what way? It seems that, um, that you have taken a more responsible attitude towards Gillian than I, uh, well, uh, let's just say that what she said has made me think differently about you. She is very impressionable. I, uh, I thought you were only after one thing, John. I assure you, I have her best interests at heart. So, this is your new premises. Yes. I'll take a look. I've had an acid spill. Oh, well, I've had a few of those. I could, uh, I could help you clear it up. No, I'm fine, honestly. Just letting the fumes clear. Well, you sure there's nothing I can do? You could tell Gillian that I'll contact her tomorrow. I was, uh, I was rather hoping you might do that tonight. Only she won't stop crying. out dancing, carefree and romancing, happy with my someone new. I'm laughing on the outside, crying on the inside, cause I'm still in love with you. They see me night and daytime, having such a gay time, they don't know what I go through. This is good. I'm laughing on the outside, crying on the inside, cause I'm still in love with you. No one knows it's just a pose, pretending I'm glad we're apart. And when I cry, my eyes are dry. The tears are in my heart My darling, can we make up Ever since I break up Make believe is all I do I'm laughing on the outside Crying on the inside Cause I'm still in love with you. <laughs> It's just a pose Pretending I'm glad we're apart And when I cry My eyes are dry The tears are in my heart My darling, can't we make up Ever since our breakup Make me live is all I do on the outside crying on the inside cause I'm still in love with you cause I'm still in love with you you well at this hotel then, do they? Yes, very well. It's a bit extravagant. Did you get the socks sanitive for you? Yes. Thanks, Mum. And your business is doing well? Sold a couple of properties for a friend. Made quite a bit of money out of it. 
Do you ever hear anything of Betty? Why should we, son? No, it's just that I've, I've, I've met a girl I'd quite like to marry. Betty is still your wife. Yeah, I know she is. Her name's Gillian. She looks very young. If you do hear anything of Betty, I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know. She moves outside of our circle, son. I'm sure you'd approve. I think I've found the right one this time. Let's pray that that's so, Sonny. Now let us give thanks to the Lord who shelters us from all evil and who, by his word, keeps us safe from the sins of the world. Amen. 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 one other matter. Hmm? Your bill. I'm afraid it's in arrears. Yes, I should be able to settle that in a couple of days. It's rather a great deal in arrears. Is it? Yes. Is he all right? Hmm? He doesn't seem to be very well, Mr. Haig. Yes, he's fine. He's just a bit, uh, a bit tired today. Come on, Pat. It's a stroke. It's also his age comes to us all. I'm sorry. What? What's the kindest thing to do? The kindest thing would be to remember him as he was. Would you like me to take him? Please.